All right, guys, so you have the brand new Hydro Quiver double barrel. This just was released in uh, April of 2016. Uh, the previous version uh, was not a whole lot different, but, uh, but in ways it, it actually was. So we, we really kept the footprint almost the same. We did make a back here slightly different to accommodate your, our super petite runners. One thing we found in our other footprint, it was just a tad wider uh, for those under about 115 pounds. This one here, uh, I've had some of those tiny runners that I, at least some of the ones I know, down to about 95 pounds, uh, that this still works great for. Um, one of the key features to this pack that we changed too, in the back panel back here, this used to be a thicker foam, like you'll see in the single barrel packs. Uh, we switched this out to a, uh, a, a much thinner closed cell foam rather than this open cell. And we did this for two reasons. One, it took off quite a bit of weight. Two, the open cell actually sucks up a lot of sweat when you go for a run, and, and it can kind of stink a little bit over time. you got to wash it more frequently, uh, but it'll also make the pack even heavier, even though it's still minuscule. And, uh, and then three, it just kind of gave it a little bit more fluid look, and we changed the mesh so it's like our uh, vest packs now, too. Um, and then we changed the bottle holders a bit from previous designs. So if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with our previous double barrel, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, those are some of the main changes that we did with this. And the backpack here, we used to have a shallower pocket when you open this that you could first access. We got rid of that mainly because it got kind of caught in the zipper sometimes and some people complained about that. And I didn't know how many people really used it, so I guess I'll find out here soon enough. But uh, that's one of the biggest changes that we have on this. So uh, 100 grams lighter than the previous. In the middle here, we have a, uh, it's actually it's a little shot cord tie down area. You can loop this in various different configurations to hook in a third bottle in the back, hook on a jacket and whatever you want. So with this, just like the single barrel, pull it up over the top of your head, cinch it down nice and snug in the front. Just as with the single barrel packs, we have this little elastic keeper right here. You tuck in this strap right here and this keeps these from flopping around and driving you crazy. Uh, if you have a really small runner and they want to trim these, they certainly can. Just cut the end, burn them, and then ideally sew them back just like what we have because that's what helps it to stick in that elastic keeper. Shoulder pockets. Uh, we made these slightly larger on this than the previous uh, version to accommodate your great big phones. And it also, more in the length is really where we changed this. So you can get an iPhone 6 Plus in here uh, quite well. And to reach back on this, so it's same as always with our packs. You always want to glide your palm over your shoulder to grab the bottles. When you grab them, it always helps to do a slight little twist. And the bottles are going to be a little bit tight when it's right there at the store. Uh, it's, it's just kind of... It's the nature of the beast. We designed them to be a bit tight because it'll loosen up. It'll loosen up a bit, as uh, especially once you put water in them and whatnot, put it to use. So they're going to be slightly tight. So we tell people to give it a slight little twist like this, just to pull the bottle out. And again, it's easy to put the bottle back in. It takes a slight bit of muscle memory to figure out where these bottles are because they're not directly under center line like the single barrel. But we rarely hear anybody have a problem over the first maybe half mile, mile, and they get it figured out. So uh, left and right, both super easy. Uh, regardless of whether you're very ambidextrous or not. Um, again, very breathable, great for long haul. Uh, one of the, the key things that we find that people are buying this pack for, uh, your, your female runners, there's obviously no chest strap, which helps a lot. Uh, your larger runners, they may have a harder time with chest straps or this area in here with most packs. And, uh, and with this one, there's not an issue for that. And again, down to your petite runners now, I think we fixed that with this pack where we can fit down to about your probably 90, 95 pound runners and it'll still work really well. Um, and uh, the, the biggest uh, marketing attribute on this is really simply bottle-based hydration, keeping it nice and simple, keep your storage back in the back of your backup nutrition, and uh, yeah, going for long runs and having fun. If you have any questions, let me know.